mko sawa mko fiti mko poa uh, today i'm going to talk about writing because it's something i love doing i love writing and um, i can't really categorize my writing as i can call myself a poet or um, i just can't categorize my my writing but i write i write things if anyone asks you what i do wambie she writes she writes things i just write things uh so some of the sources of inspiration that inspire me to write what i write are situations situations i'd like to give an opinion to but i really can't because maybe ni watu si juu na si hizi their opinion or it's something interesting i saw on the road so i write it down i write down something uh if also you tunafikiranga tunakwanga we all have thoughts so if i feel like i can put a thought down and it can come up in as a qua in as a form a piece i can either share it and if it's quite personal i just in a lala to kwa kwa ni kwa kitabu mahali kwa dari eh so that's those are some of the things that inspire me to write and also i have a question to ask all of you or those who who are interested in writing or those who love writing who love reading write written pieces hey so the first the question is do you have to write to become a poet do you have to write to consider yourself a poet do you huh? write what hard huh? huh? such such things mm, do you have to rhyme because if you have to most of the pieces that i write don't rhyme that's why i'm saying that cesi categorized my writing allow me to read some of the pieces that i wrote um regarding a situation kitabu meraruka and i think that el meraruka lakini tutasoma tu uh i'm going to read this and then it was during the covid times and it was during i i wrote this on 14th of august 2020 It's called tough. Let's listen. Uh, the current situation is hard. Maisha yamekuwa magumu. Gharama ya kuishi imepanda. In spite of this we got to be tough. Hata kama the surface looks rough, we ought to push till it's enough. Tusema tusonga mbele as they say when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Kuomba daily and ask for strength from the most high. Together we're going to make it and together we're going to celebrate. We all are heroes in our own special way. Gratitude to everyone trying their very best. Kurudisha mkono to society is a way of appreciating humanity because we all got the capability. When you fall, rise again. Withstand the pain because at the end you tend to gain. Haijalishi utokako tazamia uendako. And I can assure you blessings are with you. There's light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, I wrote this. I think I I I tried rhyming on this part. I really tried rhyming. But I think ni juu hiyo time nilikuwa I had the flow. But eh indo indo nilijaribu sana ku rhyme. Uh then I'm going to read you this one. <laughs> so uh, can you see? I wrote it on 2nd October 2020. 2020 was really a year where nilikuwa na stand kama I can do this. I can write. I have I have the feeling that I am a writer. <laughs> so this one this one is quite this is more of a feeling when you need one nice. It is personal in as also me. Uh because I feel like there are people who feel like this. So if you feel like this please <laughs> leave a comment and tell me that maybe you relate. Maybe you relate to this one. Mm-hmm. Here it goes. I really I didn't write the title but Let's get to it. Uh I always feel like I owe people an explanation. Like I have an obligation to expound on each and everything I do even if I know it's right. I am not comfortable in my own skin. This feeling is so obnoxious. I lose confidence in who I am. I try to do everything so carefully that I end up not doing anything at all. Is it the way I talk? Maybe. Is it the way I dress? Maybe. Is it the way I walk? Maybe. I too am not sure what the reason is. All I know is that this has to stop and it has to be soon. I can't continue to live like this. It's not fair that I always have to be the one minding what people think of me. This one, this one is a piece that I wrote when you feel like 
you owe people an explanation what you do what what you do but you feel like yo kitu kitu tu inakwambia why did you do what what you did and let's more explain kwa nini ulifanya hivyo so if you relate leave a comment and also if you like the piece please leave a comment uh so that's it that's all for today